Hello everyone, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. I, uh, have been listening to the comments, I've been reading them, paying attention to all the stuff you guys have been telling me, and I'm gonna take care of some of those things today. First of all, I finally remembered to go back and get books. I didn't get a book for every single art that needs a book, uh, some of them I didn't find, because I didn't have a ton of time to search for them, or rather, I didn't put a ton of time into searching for them, I had a lot of other stuff to do as well. I've uh, been pretty busy game-wise, uh, and this is, uh, these videos are going up, let me see. They're supposed to be going up in about four hours, and I'm recording them right now, four or three hours from now. So as you can see, I'm a little behind on recording today. I got thrown back a little bit with uh, IRL stuff going down. But I was playing as, originally I was playing as Melia with Fiora and Charla on the side. Then after a while, I was doing quests and stuff. I switched to playing as Fiora because Melia got like, uh, let me check their affinity. I think Melia is either level two or possibly level three affinity with Charla. Something like that. Level 3 affinity with Charla, right? And Fiora and Charla will... Uh, the bad words. We're still level... Uh, I can't talk. We're still level 1. I need a drink of water, apparently. Hold up a second. Trying to get too much information out too quickly. So, uh, just take a breath. Took a drink. Alright. Melia was level 3 affinity with Charla and level 2 with Fiora. But Fiora and Charla were still level 1 affinity. So I started playing as Fiora. Haven't I didn't play too much as Fiora. I feel like with Melia, she's good, but I use her incorrectly. It seems like she's supposed to be Shulk, only not Shulk. And it's hard to use Shulk in a team composition of Charla and Melia. So I feel like that's the same deal for Fiora. It's a little difficult to... Because Fiora needs to hit certain scenarios. She needs someone to topple for her for one of her arts. She needs to hit from behind for one of her arts. Stuff like that. But anyways, that aside, I was playing as Fiora a little bit, still not level 2 affinity with Sharla yet, unfortunately. I've uh, been getting affinity up with these guys, I was looking to do other skill trees, because Ryan and Shulk are both almost done with their last uh, skill tree, so they're not going to be able to do anything else. But uh, Shulk's, I still need a little more affinity with Colony 9, because the quest unlocks at 4.5 affinity. I thought I might have had it, because as you can see, it's 4, there's no point anything, you have to just guesstimate if you're at like 4.25 or 4.75 or what. And I found the person who gives Shulk's next quest for his skill tree, and she wasn't uh, offering it. So, apparently I do not have a uh, 4.5 yet. I think you need 4 affinity in Central Bionis for Sharla's 4th skill tree, so I wasn't able to get that. Rhine's, you have to get a little further in the story, actually, I think. I was trying to see if there was white people were saying, like, you have to get to this point in the story to be able to do Rhine's 4th uh, skill tree quest. And I think there might be a way around it. I'm not sure yet, but I didn't have time to really look too hard into it. But we'll see. We're not far off from the part in the story where it would become available, from what I've read. So we'll be able to get it soon, if nothing else. He might just have to lose out on some SP in the meantime. Uh, Ricky's, I have to do a couple of other quests in Frontier Village that I haven't done yet to unlock it. I don't want to do... There's like four or five of them. I don't want to do all of them on screen. I just want to do the one that gives the skill tree on screen. On screen. So I'm going to hold off on that. And then we're about to do Fiora's. And we already got Melian and Dunban. So that's everyone's fourth skill tree is accounted for. You know how that's going. Uh, we're going to do Fiora's in just a second. First, people were telling me, go buy other armor for Fiora in the shop. So we're going to do that really fast. Uh, I was actually looking at it earlier so I could kind of figure out what I wanted ahead of time. I don't want the Sparrow Blades, even though they're better attack. They're only like 40 more damage, 40, 50 more damage, something like that better. I want the murder knives instead, which actually take up my uh, my lowest ability of dealing damage goes up for Fiora, but her maximum attack goes down a little bit. But 30% crit rate, and it has a slot. That's the reason I want the murder knives over the sparrow blades. Sparrow blades do not have a slot. Uh, I don't know what exactly people wanted me to get specifically, but I think people were wanting me to go with the speed items because that gives uh, agility that will we'll get her up to like near Dunban's level. Also, haste is very nice. Uh, speed arms, do I want that as well? It's more agility, yeah. Could do the attack arms so I can have at least a little bit of strength. I, I should probably just get the entire series of speed. So let's do that so she can just dodge everything. And then the Freya drones. Uh, cool. I went to just about every shop in the game. I'm sure I missed one or two because I didn't get a everything. Sword Drive specifically is one of the ones I'm thinking of. I didn't find the book for Sword Drive, but I got a ton of books for different people. Uh, some books I bought that I actually didn't need, and I didn't realize I didn't need them until after, but it doesn't matter. 
Let's go over here. Plenty to learn, plenty to learn. So let's just, I'm just gonna go through it. You guys can read it as I do it to see who's getting what, but I just bought stuff that people needed. Some stuff people don't need. Specifically, I think Ryan and Ricky got a few that they don't need to have, but I got them anyways. Ricky especially, because I went to a Frontier Village to buy arts, because that's where a lot of Rickies are. Literally sold nothing but arts for Ricky. And I just bought all of them because I didn't want to have to keep going in between Ricky's arts and whatnot to see, does he use this one? Does he need this one? So I just bought all of them. I had the money for it. But anyways, there we go. Uh, I don't think we got much for Fiora. We got Ether Drain, and that might be it. Yeah, th that was the only one. That and Double Blade were the only ones being sold, so I imagine we get more for her later on. Let's up Ether Drain as much as I can then. Because it's pretty useful. It's not the best in the world, but it's not horrible. Somewhat depends on the type of enemy you're fighting, I suppose, but yeah, it's nice. It's decent. Melia can up summon copy. I'm upping summon copy until I either can't anymore or until I'm, until it maxes or until I'm out of AP, both of which would be a scenario of me not being able to anymore. And it's gonna be maxing it out first, there we go. Uh, then we'll just do the same thing for Summon Wind, because Summon Wind and Flare are probably my favorites after Bolt. We are maxed out on that. I'll give Aqua one more, even though it's probably my least favorite. There we go. Sharla, we're going to get... I'm actually going to leave Heal Bullet for now. Heal Round should be leveled up now. Oh, it's already maxed out. Oh, Cure Round is the one that I got the book for. I was about to say, didn't I just get Heal Round's book? No, it was Cure Round. Let's max out Cure Around then. And still got some more to go around. Let's do Headshot. I got the book for that, so. Does that, man, that takes off like nine seconds of cooldown. That is insane. Didn't this used to be a cooldown of like 120 seconds and now it's nearly halved and it's not even max level yet? That's awesome. All right, don't have enough for Heal Blast, unfortunately, which I also got the book for. That'll be the next main priority, probably. All right, sweet. Uh, who else? Who else? Shulk? I got Shadow Eye. Which, honestly, I don't even want to level up that much. I'm going to level up Shadow Eye once, and I'm going to level up Air Slash once. Because they're both about 2,000. Then we go to the Monado. And I want to up Armor. Yeah, 55% damage loss. Up Armor once, and then I think I just save from here on. I didn't mean to press out of arts. I wanted to go to Rhine next. Whoops. Alright, next is Rhine who don't have Sword Drive, which upsets me. Got Last Stand and Rage, though. He's got so much AP. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be able to, like, max all of these, so let's just do it. Get Rage up to level 7. Get Last Stand up to level 7. It looks like I'm going to be able to do as well. And then anything else. Bring that cooldown down by, like, 40... Or not 40, like, 4 seconds. <laughs> 40 would have been amazing. 4 seconds per, it looks like. And then we'll up... Aura Burst, and then I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got for Ryan for now. I still need more books. I need Sword Drive and Anchor Chain, apparently. I didn't find either of those. Hopefully I will in the future. All right, then Dunban. Did I get any for Dunban? I don't think I did. He still needs to level up Serene Heart. I'm pretty sure I already had the book for this. I just haven't finished leveling it up yet. So I'll go ahead and max that out, because I'm about to switch to Dunban, actually. Uh, I couldn't find Soaring Tempest or Demon Slayer, unfortunately, and I'm saving AP for them now, basically. But here we go. Ricky has got plenty to work with, so I'm just going to max his stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go straight out max each of them. I'm going to, like, I'm pretty sure I had all of his stuff up to level 4, so I'm going to try and just go down the line and bring them all to level 6. And then if I still have leftover AP after that, I'll pick and choose what to bring to level 7, depending on how much I have. I doubt I'm even going to be able to get everything to level 6 because they're getting pretty expensive. You can do it. Up that. Oh, yeah, that's his healing one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like that one. like that one indeed. Freezinate. I think this is the last one down the line. Actually, there's one more beneath it, but I don't have it equipped, so it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get Freezinate up to the next level, and then I don't think I have enough AP for anything else. We'll have to save a little bit from here on. Yeah. All right, there you go. Good. So AP is all built back up. Good. We're going to play as Fiora for just a little bit because this is about to be her fourth skill tree we're going to unlock. And I think I have to set it tonight. There's a Homs here in Machina Village that will give me the quest. Should spawn. Yep, there he is. Carlos. Uh, come on. Where is that thing? I've been looking for so long, I'm almost ready to give up. If you don't mind me asking, what's wrong? 
Hey, I know that voice. Fiora? Yes, it is you. Is that you, Carlos? Oh, she knows him, apparently. We all thought you died at the Battle of Sword Valley. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, thank the stars. You're really alive. I fell down from the sword, and the villagers helped me back here. Wow, that's amazing. I can't believe it. Same thing happened to us a year later. The colony residents are going to be overjoyed when they hear. Oh, man, this brings it all back. I haven't seen you since I enlisted in the Defense Force. And you look so different. Wow, yeah, I'm a machine now. I forgot to equip my machine stuff. I should do that. Teehee. Well, a few... <laughs> Why'd I say teehee like that? Well, a few things have changed for me since then. But back to you. Is something wrong? Oh, yeah, I was so happy to see you again. I almost forgot. I've lost something really important to me. It's the sword on which I swore an oath to my best friend. We enlisted in the Defense Force at the same time. What happened to it? I think I must have lost it when I fell off the sword. I haven't seen it since that day. Would you mind if I helped you? I mean, it would mean a lot if you would let me do this for you. I couldn't read that well. <laughs> I kind of feel it's fate that we met here today. I know I can find it. Ha, just like when you were a kid. Rash enough to just accept any challenge, no matter how difficult. I can see why Vengar... Vengar? Vengari? I don't know. Wanted you for the Defense Force. Probably because she's Dunban's sister more than anything else. Rash? Come on, don't be so mean. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry, Fiora. I'm just glad you haven't lost that sweet old Fiora charm. Okay then, so you'll look for it? Sure will. Uh, in the area of the Power Pipe Ruins on the Fallen Arm. So I need to go to the Power Pipe Ruins. Thanks, you'll have it back in no time. You'd be doing me a massive favor, Fiora. Start looking around at the wrist of the Fallen Arm. I'll be looking elsewhere in the meantime. That okay with you? Alright, so I need to go to the Power Pipe Ruins. I don't know where that is. Really quickly, let's switch around Fiora's stuff. Something else I was told to do is apparently I need to go back to Alchemoth and talk to Kalyan. That's the name of Melia's brother, right? The prince? Prince Kalyan? I think his name is Kalyan. And apparently he's going to give me a weapon for Fiora that may or may not be great. You know, I bought these murder knives. And that percentage rate is good. But this has two slots instead of one slot. So I think I'm just going to keep this. Alright. Uh, let's equip all the stuff I got. Speed goggles. I don't know how to feel about those. I'm hoping it's going to look better with the rest of the frame. Uh, speed frame. Okay. So... Apparently, Fiora still has plenty, and I do mean plenty, of human body parts left. I should have assumed, you know, speed normally associated with little clothing. Ether boosters, gonna go with, uh, speed boosters. Okay. Yeah, she's still got her legs, stomach, and chest. Okay. That's a lot more than Mumcar had going for him. Wait, is this better? One more agility, 18 more ether defense. I think I'll just stick with the Freya ones. But yeah, she's still got plenty of human body left. Like, more than enough. But the head the headpiece does not look as, uh, as dumb with the rest of the body. So, it looks better now, is what I'm trying to say. Weapon power, four. Uh, I have no idea what to give her, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Double attack, three, because double attack is great. I haven't done gym stuff. I didn't have time for that either. I had to, like, pick and choose what I was going to do. Haste 3. Let's max out our haste. Why not? There we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, zoom in. Yeah, you can see her back, too. Cool. So she's still got majority human. Mumcar was missing his entire midsection. Like, when you looked at Mumcar, all you could really even guess that he had was, like, the top of his chest and then his face. Everything else looked pretty full-on mechanical. But apparently that's not so for Fiora. I don't know where I'm going, but I know that the wrist is in this direction, but where is the Power Pipe Ruins specifically? What is this? That's Inlet Beach. That's Ulna Passage. Oh, there's the Power Pipe Ruins. There's not a warp there. But how have I been there before? How do you get there? Okay, well, it's over there somewhere. It's got to be near the fifth pulse zone. What the heck is going on over here? How do I get to this thing? I kind of want to buy Fiora's other mechanical outfits to see what they look like. Because I imagine the others would... This one is the speed one, so of course it would be the most, like, lacking. I wonder what the others look like. Because, like, one of them was attack, one of them was for drawing aggro. They'd probably be bulkier. I just like the looks of a lot of the machines in this game, including the Mechahoms, so I bet it would look pretty awesome. Take this Earth Ether while I'm here. So is there, like, a pathway down here somewhere that would take me to the thing? It doesn't look like it. How 
do you get over to those power pipe ruins? How I've been there before. I just don't remember how. It might have been off screen. I was doing something and was doing a quest and got over there without meaning to. Let's go over here. This little, like, divot area. I don't know what you would call this on the mini-map. See if there's something there that will lead me over. To the left here? No? Just a dead end? Okay. How does one... I've been there before, apparently. How do you... Huh. Is there, like, something back over here? One video of just, like, upping Fiora's armor and doing arts and stuff. That's good, because we should be about at the second video now. Or the end of the first one, depending on how I edit. How do you get over to this thing? After this, by the way, we're going straight on to... Since I couldn't get any of the other skill tree quests ready for us to do, we're going straight back to Maconis to make more progress in it. I need to make more story progress to be able to do rhymes, apparently. Is there, like, another entrance around here. Oh, hey, what's this? What do you do? Oh, what I do? Hello. I moved this, so now I can climb it. Oh, am I gonna go, like, up and over to the thing I'm trying to get to? Hopefully. I'm pretty sure Melia just shoved me aside, but, you know, it actually moved me closer, so I'm okay with it. 